Hey guys, so today we're gonna do this simple look. It's just a couple hundred amount of products. And this was the look that I did in my last video, my TMI video. Um, I think that I altered like a couple things, like maybe my lip color, and I think maybe I did my brow slightly differently, but this is the gist of what I did. So if you wanna watch how I did this look, obviously stay tuned and continue to watch this video. I don't even know why people even say that because you wouldn't click on the video if you didn't want to see. But, here we go. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to prep our skin. I'm going to take a little bit of Fix Plus and just douse my face. Uh, just so that we get something that's nice and slippery. So that everything that we're doing to blend into the skin uh, has something nice and kind of emollient and soft underneath to work into. I'm uh, just going to kind of work that in with my fingers. I am going to use a little bit of stroke cream. Yeah, this is going to be our primer. I use a whole bunch of different primers, but with this look, it has a little bit of like a natural radiant glow through it. So just a touch of strobe cream is what is going to help give us that glowy effect without having to, you know, work too hard. So we're just going to blend this through. And what I like about strobe cream is it has a whole bunch of other stuff in it as well that it kind of takes down redness and moisturizes the skin to a point, but it just has that 3D kind of pearlescent glow to it that is like stunning. So that's the real reason we're using it today. And again, this will be something that helps everything kind of blend into it. So all throughout the skin. First thing that I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this guy. This is a studio stick. They don't make these anymore. Uh, I got this from a friend that had like a couple extra. So basically what we're gonna do with this is contour. And if you want to contour the same way I'm going to, you could grab a studio finish concealer, which looks like this. Just a little pot of concealer. It's basically the same exact thing. The only difference is this one is in a cup and this one is in a stick. Uh, who else does this? You could do this one from, like Bobbi Brown has a stick. If you desperately wanted a stick. I don't know, whole bunch of people. But seriously, this is just a full coverage foundation, full coverage concealer. Either one would do the trick nicely. So what we're gonna do first, <laughs> I know that I've been rambling on, but we're gonna take our concealer stick, foundation stick, whatever you have. This one is in NW47, if that is what you're wanting. What's nice about using this color, especially if it's such a warm color, is it gives you like a nice bronzy effect afterwards, especially if you're as pale white as me. Uh, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to take this and literally run it right through the contour of my cheek. Um, just like that. You don't need very much of this thing because this thing is super powerful. Um, but, you kind of get the idea. We're just basically contouring with this dude. And we're going to do the same thing down the nose. Kind of like that. <laughs> it looks hilarious. Uh, a little bit through the forehead. How else did I do it? I have a picture of what I looked like the other day right here. I'm pretty sure that's really it. The next thing is I'm gonna take, I either took Pro Longwear or Studio Finish Concealer. They're both in NW20, so either one really works. I'm gonna use the Pro Longwear today, especially because I'm using it under my eyes. Uh, the Studio Finish for me, it kind of creases and kind of moves a slight bit through the under eye area, especially if I don't powder it super, super well. So I like the Pro Longwear because it sets itself and you don't really have to think about it after it's on. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like two pumps of this just because we're gonna use it elsewhere. Uh, and we're gonna get that going with a little bit of my favorite concealer brush. My favorite concealer brush is this one. It's from Real Techniques. It's technically a setting brush. But I love it for concealer. I just feel like it has like, it's like the perfect size and you can also blend with it. So a little bit of the concealer. I'm going to just run this down the center of my nose. And then basically I have a concentrated highlight basically kind of through this area. 
that kind of goes up a little bit farther as well. So we're just gonna slowly recreate this highlight. All right, so the next step is a little bit of Makeup Forever HD foundation. I used to be in absolute love with this foundation and I went back to Sephora, repurchased it with, um, after doing their whatever it is, like skin ID, whatever it's called. And it said this color, well it actually said a darker color, and I was like, mm, ma'am, <laughs> no. And um, yeah, so then I remembered that I had 135 in the past, so I just grabbed another 135. So I'm gonna do like a pump and a half of this guy, and we're gonna apply it with this brush. It's the 135 from MAC, it's their newer brush, or one, 159, 135, 159. It's about the same thing, right? But what I realized is it is basically like the Real, Tex Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. Like, can we just talk about how similar these damn brushes are? Like, they're perfectly the exact same. And I've, I've talked about this brush in the past, how much I loved it. But, same thing, same exact thing. So we're gonna start off with this one. And take the foundation and uh, place it in between the highlight and the contour. So, through there, and here, and around here. So now that we have the highlight, and the skin color, and then the contour, I'm gonna take the same brush. What I like about this brush is you can use it flat, like a regular kind of foundation brush. And you can also use it in a buffing motion because it is sort of cut round. Not the roundest cut, but it is pretty round. And we're going to buff all of this together. And then we're going to skip the contour like I always do till the very end. Down the nose. Like that. So now we have all of the skin kind of blended out and we're gonna go back in and do the contours now. Same brush and uh, we're going to hold the brush so the handle is down towards the ground. So that way the bristles have a chance to kind of push the product up the face. Uh, the last thing that I wanna do, especially for my face shape, is to kind of bring the contour down and elongate my face. So I'm just gonna kinda of, uh, either push it up slightly or hold the brush so that it keeps it directly right through my cheek. Uh, but right now I'm gonna kind of blend it up and in. Does that make sense? Just just watch. <laughs> just watch and you'll see. So um, if you hold the brush down, you get the product to move upwards. And if you hold the brush directly straight across, more horizontal to the floor, you get to keep the product right where it is. So if you want to really build the intensity of a product, you just keep the brush very horizontal. But right now, we're just gonna kind of work it back and forth in between those two. And this just gives you a nice little contour. Pretty! Down the sides of the nose really quickly, and I'm gonna blend it up into like this, like basically the nose and the brow bone where they kind of meet. And sometimes what happens is when you like you blend out all of your contours, your brush gets a little bit dark. Uh, like this one, like if I continue to blend this one without adding a little touch of concealer, it's gonna look very heavy versus the side that we already did. So I just touch my brush into the concealer and really blend it back into the brush so that when we blend this guy, it doesn't look super, super dark. Cool. Now for these ones, these ones are always, I always put too much, <laughs> too much up there. So we're gonna take our brush, add in a little bit more foundation and just work these in. Look how much I put in there. All right, so at this point, <clears throat> all of the like, contouring and highlighting is very subtle and kind of natural looking. 
And in this picture, in my last video, it was very strong and structured. So how I did that is I actually took all of my brushes are still wet. That's what you get for not washing your brushes the night before. Good job. All right, so in this look, we need to chisel out this contour. So what you could do is you could always add in more of the cream foundation or concealer and just darken it up repeatedly. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take Harmony. So this is my deep potted Harmony, which has seen better days. He is a little bit loved. He is kind of cracked on the sides from me dropping out on the floor, and what's not. So we're going to take a little bit of Harmony. We're going to take it with a 225, which is a discontinued brush, but it's just a giant fluffy brush. It's like a 224 if you have one of those. So this guy, we're going to take it, swirl it around, and we'll start with this side. So to contour this, we're just going to follow the same shape that we have going on. A little through the nose. And a little bit through the hairline as well. And I really want to work it up into the hairline. All right, so that is the idea of what we're going to do next. To bring back some extra highlight, uh, I'm going to do like a thousand more things. Uh, we're going to take just a little bit of Natural Radiance. This is uh, in Radiant Rose. This is a Prep and Prime highlighting pen. Same thing, same general idea as like a Touche Claw or I know that Givenchy makes some. Basically, it's like a clicky pen that has shiny stuff in it. What we're going to do is we're going to paint this into the inner corner because I don't sleep and that just helps me look slightly more awake and then I'm going to bring this up the rest of the cheekbone and we're doing this before we powder over our cheeks because if you try to conceal and use a cream over powder it just turns into a disaster like a little bit like that basically. Uh, we're gonna use our same foundation brush because it's the same color really and it's fine. Just gonna work that in, bring back that highlight. So it's gonna be just a nice very 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 bright highlight uh, back through the center of the face really. Moving on what we're going to do is we're going to mix a little bit of Studio Fix powder in NW15, so a very white, very bright powder. And then we're going to do a little bit of medium in the Mineralized Skin Finish uh, Natural. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the other brush, the Real Techniques brush, just because it's my favorite. And it's like the, one of the only ones that's actually dry, even though it's not at all. Okay, so we're going to take the Studio Fix powder in NW15 first. Just kind of load up the side of this brush uh, and powder this up with the cheekbone. And slightly under the eye. You don't want too much of this underneath the eye because it's basically powder cake makeup. It's pancake batter in a compact, but that's the point. This look is not for the people that want to walk out of their house looking like a natural beauty. This is the makeup that people want to look like they spent four and a half hours putting on makeup. We're just restructurizing our face every day, isn't it great? Like that. Mm-hmm. All right, so now to blend the contour and the highlight together, we're gonna take the same brush with the Mineralized Skin Finish in Media, and we're gonna swirl the brush into the powder. And basically in between the contour and the highlight is where we're going to be blending this Media. This color is closer to the color of my skin, not as bright and not as dark. So this kind of 
just works, just works. It makes everything look more natural. Like I said earlier, this is like a ton of product. I tell you, I could kill these trucks. There's like construction going on right across the street from me. And I don't know what it is about the truck drivers that are driving through, but they love to use their air brakes. And it's the th death of me. Like, I hate that noise more than anything. Ugh, especially when I'm filming. Like, if I'm not filming, I can barely handle it. But now that I'm filming, I literally wanna like grind my teeth. Anyway, so now that we have literally 19 pounds of makeup on our skin, uh, it's time to take Prism. I think this is Prism. Yeah, Prism blush. You could also do Poised if that was limited. I'm believing it's limited, but you could do Prism. You could do a little bit of blush, baby. Depending on your skin tone, you could literally do whatever you would like. We're gonna use the same brush that we just used just cause Hashtag lazy, hashtag my brushes are wet. And we're going to just lightly work this up the cheekbone pretty high to give us some color. All right, so that is basically the idea of the skin. That's kind of how much makeup I have on in that picture. Just like a, like a couple pounds. Uh, yeah, so now we're gonna go on to brows. I've already kind of combed through my brows, just a slight touch. We're going to take an angled brush. What is this, a 208? Yep, and we're gonna take Wedge. And the sun's going away, good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Wedge and we're going to line this underneath the brow. Just following that all the way across to our arch and then basically sharpening up that arch. And we're gonna extend out the brow ever so slightly. Uh, same thing on the top. Just follow the top line all the way across. Bring that down. We're gonna slightly bring some of that color through the brow. Not that it matters too much because we're gonna fill it in anyway with a little bit of brown mascara, but so you get the idea. All right, so now that we have wedge all the way through the brow, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Espresso. Espresso is just a very dark, woo, dark, dark chocolatey brown. Wedge is a little bit more like a blonde brown with a little bit of red to it. So with Espresso, same brush, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the outer portion of the brow Basically giving us a little bit a little bit more dimension to the brow instead of looking so uh, monotone, monocolor. I'm just bringing that through the extended arch and tail. Perf. Boom. I always use Beguile. Always, 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 no matter what. If I'm not wearing any makeup, I always put Beguile through my brow so that my brows actually have some definition because they are super blonde and super light. So we're gonna take Beguile, align the hair and give it a touch of uh, I don't know, cohesiveness. So it all feels like one. Do you want me to do the eye makeup as well? Sure, we'll just do it. So for the eye makeup, it's literally the most simple thing. We're going to take Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. 
Run this across the eyelid. Blend this out with your finger. We took a 224 or a 217, one of the two, just depending on what you feel more comfortable with. I'm actually going to use a 217 because I haven't used that in a while in one of the videos. Uh, literally the only thing that's in my uh, crease is wedge and I just took this and can I show you wedge because I've used it three times how about that it's a good idea right okay wedge boom skin tone pretty nice great cool 227 217 who knows dyslexic good uh, swirl tap <laughs> just kidding uh, I took this and we did a line from underneath. Outwards, so it gave you a little lift. And then we worked this through the crease. How far did I go in? Pretty far. So that's basically the, the shape that we wanted. Just like a nice little crescent with a little bit of a lift. I take just a random brush. This is like the closest thing that I have. And it's basically a flat shader brush. It's a 275. It's actually contoured angled. That doesn't really matter at all for what we're doing with it. We're gonna take Brule, I always say blonde type because it looks like that. On this dude. And smash this into the lid. And this is going to shape out that wedge. And sharpen it up for us. So you can see the difference, like this one looks like kind of, like it blends into like nothing, it just kind of is thick and fluffy, and then this one has a little bit more dimension. Same brush, we're going to run this under the brow to give us that nice sharp brow highlight. Super simple, like this is... Probably like the easiest eye makeup look you could ever do. It's two colors. Dose. Go back to the 217 where that has the wedge on it and just reapply to all of the areas that you already have. Just be a little bit more gentle this time. basically the amount of eyeshadow that I had on that day. Not too much. We took the, like a white eyeliner. This one's fascinating. It can literally be whatever white that you want. Urban Decay Makeup Forever Mac Pro. Random drugstore eyeshadow. <laughs> like, whatever you want. I had no liner on the top. I'm going to take a, a little bit of the extended play lash. Yeah, just a touch of this, just at the root of the lash. I'm gonna literally put it at the root of my lash and like blink into it. I don't want to look like I'm wearing mascara. And then I didn't do anything underneath because that's just too much. So basically that is the look that is there with the eyes. And then for the lips, what I did is I took a little bit of the patent polished lip pencil in Innocent. These are amazing. If you can, I'll go pick them up. It's like a gloss and a lipstick had a child. It's like a gloss stick. That's a good. that through 
Mm-hmm. And then uh, a little bit of Wildly Lush Gloss. I'm not sure if this is the exact lip. But it's pretty dang close. Yeah. So that is that is the, the look, guys. It's um it's super simple. <laughs> not very many steps at all. And yeah. Now you get to see how you beat your face like this. Easy. I think that's everything. <laughs> That is basically everything I have for you today. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned a little bit of something. And I will see you all next week. All right, bye.